Hello, yes, everyone, and welcome to your next lesson. Um, we are looking today at a bit of theory that's going to help us to understand a particular part of the Horn of Africa, which we'll come to next lesson. So this lesson, we kind of don't really look at Africa particularly, but this is the theory, like I said, that we're going to need to understand what is going on in the Horn of Africa in a particular part. So to begin with, a do now task, you've got to answer three of the questions below, or at least three. You've got five minutes. Uh, could you record those answers down on paper? And we'll go through some uh, possible ideas and answers in just a minute. So pause the video now and get cracking with that. OK, so here are some of my answers. Um, you may very well have uh, come up with slightly different perspective, which is fine. Uh, what is going on in the photo? Well, the road has collapsed is, is, is the basics, isn't it? Uh, that road has collapsed down. You can see uh, there's a vehicle in the background that has stopped and the road has been closed as well. What might have happened just before the photo was taken? Well, cars could have been using it, um, uh, just a normal road. What might you hear there? Well, loud noises, shuddering of the road um, as this was occurring. Where might this photo have been taken? Well, it looks like a fairly good quality road and a decent car, so could this be a high income country or a richer country? When was this photo taken? Well, definitely during the day. Why might this be there? Well, it could be an earthquake. Uh, as it says there. In fact, it is an earthquake. There are other ideas. You could have put something about a landslide. Could be that the ground has become very wet, for example, and, and has lost its ability to um, hold itself together. So it's just kind of collapsed. Uh, what might you smell there? Interesting. So the, the, the smell, a sort of dusty, earthy, rocky smell, maybe the smell of tarmac um, being released as it broke. Uh, and finally, what might happen just after the photo is taken? Well, if an emergency service vehicle needs to get through here, say an ambulance, because um, if there's an earthquake here, perhaps this earthquake has caused damage and maybe there are people in trouble. Well, they can't get through here now. This road is blocked, so they'd have to find a different route round. So there we go. Um, got us thinking a little bit about uh, what's going on inside the earth, because that is what this lesson is all about. Let's move on. OK, so how do plates work? Uh, we'll talk about what we mean by plates in just a minute, because no, we're not talking about your dinner plate. That uh, we'll say for a food tech lesson. This is geography. We're talking about the Earth's plates. So could you write that title down? Make sure you underline it with a question mark at the end. Don't forget the date as well. Read those three objectives. Make sure you've got the equipment and we shall move on. So pause the video now. OK, under that title, then, could you copy this subtitle? So do this um, against the margin. You should have written your title probably in the middle of the page, centred, and this should be on the left uh, up against the margin, the structure of the earth. Could you please um, watch the YouTube video there, type that link in and watch it. You don't need to take any notes at the moment. All you need to do is watch it and try and absorb it and learn it. And keep the link open, though, because when you come to the next task, you may very well wish to go back and re-watch parts of the video. So watch this, keep the link open and we'll move on. OK, so grab a pencil and if you could uh, copy that diagram in your book, as it says, there, take up a whole page. Um, this should be quite large. You use the rest of your page. Um, grab yourself your compass to draw those nice, neat circles. Try to make this as accurate and neat as possible. Now, the four boxes, you'll notice it says make sure your four label boxes are spread out and are at least five lines thick because you're going to be writing a title at the top of each one. Uh, in just a second, and then some extra bullet points and notes underneath. So add the following headings to each box. Once you've done that, the crust, the mantle, the outer core and the inner core. And the video should have helped you to do that. So do all of that now. Get that sorted. Pause the video. OK, so just double check that you've got the correct order. The crust is the outer thinnest layer of the earth. The mantle is the largest layer underneath that. And then you've got the two parts of the core, the outer and the inner core. OK, so another video clip to watch. Could you watch this? And this will um, go through the layers of the Earth again, just as a recap, but also show you how this structure drives the movement of the tectonic plates. So the Earth is split into these tectonic plates, as you should know now. Um, and these tectonic plates are moved because of what's going on in the Earth. And that's why, as geographers, despite the fact we're interested in what's happening on the surface, this is why we have to go into the Earth, because we use that to understand what happens on the surface. And when you've done that, watch that video 
Uh, well, as you watch it, you can by all means pause it, return to your diagram and add some extra detail into each of the four boxes. And the four bullet points there show you the kind of things to write about. So pause this video now and get cracking with that. OK, so a bit of information to double check. Could you please pause now and double check you've got that information. If there's anything you're missing, add this into your diagram now if you've got space. OK, so another subtitle, please remember uh, up against the margin. What are tectonic plates? And then you're going to copy those two sentences. The Earth's crust is split up into a number of plates which move due to currents of heat deep within the Earth. This causes continental drift to happen. Continental drift. Think about what the word continental means. Well, it's to do with the continents, the continents and the land of the Earth. And then drift. Something is drifting. It's moving. So continental drift means the movement of the Earth's surface. And if you look at the map there, you'll see arrows all over it. Those show the directions that those particular plates are moving in. Pause the video and copy those down. OK, just a quick question. Um, get you looking carefully at this map. Where is the greater horn? Where is the horn of Africa on this map? Look carefully, uh, work it out and I'll show you in just a sec. Pause the video now. Well, there it is, the Horn of Africa. Notice it's on the east coast of Africa, as we know, and it is that horn-like um, shape sticking out of the side. Right, another subtitle, what causes these plates to move? Once you've written that, another video to watch. Uh, it's only 46 seconds, however. Um, yeah, as it says there, though, if you watch further, this will give you a head start on next lesson. So by all means, keep going, but for now, Go to 46 seconds so that you can complete these tasks in this lesson properly. And if you've got any time left at the end, you can go back and have a little look at the rest of this. And then you've got four uh, questions to answer in full sentences. So pause this video now and get on with that. OK, here are your answers. Number one, convection causes the plates to move. This is uh, the rising of liquids and gases when they're heated. In this case, the rising of liquid rock magma under the ground. Number two, the heat moves towards the crust. Number three, it begins to cool, moves away, and then sinks back down towards the core. And number four, as this cycle happens, the plates move. Check those answers, make any corrections you needed, and we'll move on. OK, so at the end of this lesson, please read through these seven sentences. Could you write them out, making them true? So with point number one, if you think that sentence is true, the crust is the inner layer of the earth, you're going to copy that out. If you think it's false, you are going to change something about it. Usually just one word needs changing. Change one word and make it true. So you should have seven true statements written in your book. This should take five to ten minutes. Pause the video now. And here are your answers. Anything in red is false. Anything in green is true. In brackets, I've put potential correct answers, ways to change the bold word, which is the one I've identified is incorrect, and make it correct. So for number one, you should have written the crust is in the, uh, or is the, sorry, the crust is the outer layer of the earth. You could, however, have written the core is the inner layer of the earth. That would absolutely be fine as well. Number three, the core is the hottest layer of the earth. Number six, convection currents move the plates by dragging them from below. And number seven, convection currents happen because of the heat in the core. Please make sure you've got all those correct. Anything you've may got wrong here, please cross it out neatly and rewrite it. I want these seven statements to be a nice summary of this lesson of some of the key facts that you are expected to learn. And that is it. Um, good job. Next lesson, we'll look at how this has affected the Horn of Africa particularly. So have a great day. Take care and I shall see you then. Goodbye.